Good day to you, one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. I bring to you today heartbreaking news that uh, Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith has uh, relapsed and checked himself back into rehab, um, having become presumably too dependent on some pain medication after having had a, a foot procedure, uh, some sort of surgery to prepare for those shows that they're doing in Las Vegas. And I've talked about Stephen Tyler a lot on this uh, show because I just love him. I think he's an absolute legend. So today is a slightly different type of episode. It's a message of support and uh, and I hope you'll all join me in sending healing vibes to Stephen Tyler as he concentrates on his uh, health in this moment. Justin Hawkins rides again again <clears throat> I had the pleasure of meeting Stephen Tyler and Stephen Tyler was actually sober in that moment. Sober and presumably not not uh, using painkillers or anything. Um, and he had this sort of vibe about him where, like when a, when a conversation reached a natural lull, uh, at that point, you and I, in that moment, would probably go and l- go, go to the uh, table and go, oh, what's, what should we have there? I'm, oh, I'll take a vodka, you know, or go and get a drink or something. At, the, at that point, you'd refresh yourself um, and then hopefully the... The conversation would um, be rejuvenated by the libation process. Um, but he had this thing where when the conversation reached a lull, he would move on to the next person. So, you know, everybody in our band and crew got to spend some real quality time with Stephen Tyler, who was completely open, brilliant company, and a really amazing person. I love him so much, and, I, and it's so sad to imagine that he's going through this again. Um, the day you... Uh, grow tired of Steven Tyler is the day you grow tired of life is that what it is is that the thing yeah that's it um, I always think about my own sobriety when I read things like this because uh, I've been sober for um, 16 years now um, and I know that when you're in a sort of the, the traditional 12 steps program you're, you're usually you usually kind of uh, break it down to the point where you, you're only saying I'm not going to drink today you know so you just take one day at a time um, but I've always had this thing in my mind where, like, when I get to 60, I always think, well, I'll just take my foot off the pedal then. What difference will it make? I'll just have a couple of drinks, you know. And, I, and I'm sort of comforted by the idea that in the future, when I'm sort of at retirement age for, you know, a, a normal vocation, I could just go to the pub and just have a few drinks. And why would it matter, you know? <clears throat> but seeing Stephen Tyler at his age, I think he's 74. So at that age, you sort of think... Well, would I have would I have the strength to to exist sober at, at, at you know ten years beyond retirement age and in pain? <laughs> Why the fuck wouldn't you? So you know, I don't think you can ever sort of imagine that what's happened here is a is a is a demonstration of some kind of weak mindedness or anything. It's like this has got to be a really challenging way to exist for a person who's in pain doing that kind of physical work and expected to be on fire all the time and being a dazzling entertainer live and wriggly, you know. It must really take it out of him. So good luck, Stephen. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, Let's have a look at the um, this little video quickly. Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler is prioritizing his health following a recent relapse. I do like that expression, prioritizing Prior, in the statement, they, they said, I think, prioritizing his health. That's a really nice way to put it because you can't begrudge anybody that, can you? It's like, <laughs> what are the options? Prioritizing his bank account or prioritizing his health. And I'm really glad he chose the health option. We need Steven Tyler. We need him. The band has announced that they will be putting their Las Vegas residency, Deuces Are Wild, on hold temporarily while Steven seeks treatment. And that's another encouraging sign. They're only saying that they're putting the um, the residency on hold, you know, so they, they still they anticipate a successful uh, 28 days or however long he's in the, the facility for. And... Uh, I just love the way he's had the awareness to check himself in like that, rather than being dragged kicking and screaming after doing half of those shows and, it, and then being a disaster. You know, he's inspiring, isn't he? It's great. They say in a group statement, quote, as many of you know, our beloved brother Stephen has worked on his sobriety for many years. And it is work as well. You know, you don't, 
<laughs> you don't get given it. It's a constant battle, I think. Especially, well, it doesn't matter what you do. Whatever your job is, it's hard. After foot surgery to prepare for the stage and the necessity of pain management during the process, he has recently relapsed and voluntarily entered a treatment program to concentrate on his health and recovery. Brilliant. So that's it then. He's doing the right stuff. They're super vague about what the exact nature of the, of the program would be. I mean, you'd have to assume it's something 12 steps -y. Those things are usually, I think statistically, they have the best chance of success, really. Um... But I bet it's really challenging to be Steven Tyler and, and go to something where there's a, a 12 steps, a, a non, one of those anonymous programs. It's fucking Steven Tyler. <laughs> there's no an anonymity available to him. Aerosmith tells fans that they will be cancelling their shows in June and July, so Steven can focus on his recovery and well-being. They plan to return to the stage in September. Oh, cool. So September, that'd be all right. That gives him a few months to sort it out. Rockers add, quote, Thank you for your understanding and for your support of Stephen during this time. I don't think it's possible to begrudge somebody that. Stephen has been open about his struggle with substance abuse. He previously revealed that his bandmates and management staged an intervention in 1988 to get him to seek help for his drug addiction. He told Hote Living in 2019, quote, It took me many years to get over the anger of them sending me to rehab while they went on vacation. But today, because of that moment, I am grateful, and I owe a thanks to them for my sobriety. I remember reading about that, uh, the intervention that was staged in 1988, and the, and the sort of bitterness that, that, that Stephen Tyler carried around after it. There was a book um, by, by Aerosmith and Stephen Davis, I think it was called Walk This Way, and I think it mentioned that stuff. And at the time when that book was first published, uh, or rather when, he was, when Stephen Davis was conducting those interviews, I think Stephen Tyler was still pretty fucked off about that <clears throat> but it's really nice to to see that in the in the more recent um statements he's he's declared gratitude to his bandmates for having forced him to address those issues and, and despite the fact that he was upset because they all went on holiday at the time i mean that's that's just a little bit insensitive i think but you know not everybody sees you know you can't expect anybody else to see it from the same, from your point of view <laughs> when the, your behavior has been so abhorrent that you're forced to to go and uh, address it because the people who love you the most and need you to exist uh, can't stand to be around you so <clears throat> it's it's tough to take but you, you've got to ex he pro they probably needed a holiday from him in fairness and I reckon he probably understands that now some people think rehab is a vacation um, there are people who, who go into rehab and <laughs> they do a lap of the grounds and then they leave they might be mandated to go and do that for some sort of court order because of some behaviours that are associated with their abuses and they just do what they have to do to be seen to get better but what's brilliant about Steven Tyler is that he's actually doing the work and when I say work I do mean work you know to, to, to successfully live sober it takes real effort especially when you absolutely love getting fucked up like I do and presumably like Steven does so anyway Steven Tyler is doing all the right stuff and with a bit of luck he'll be back on stage pretty soon I for one would love to go and see that residency in Vegas um, use the comment section below to invite me um, I do only fly business class just to say that um, but I'd be delighted to join you just in Hawkins right again don't always catch that chord very well again again like subscribe hit the bell for notifications watch one of these two videos and uh, send your healing thoughts wishes and prayers to Steven Tyler nice one